How many, how many episodes? How many episodes are you? Yeah. Uh, how many episodes are you and Dr. Nea with uh, Docs Outside the Box? Right now, we just finished recording two seventy seven. So, um, and that's over six years. And mm -hmm. that's how, like, the first year we put out like nineteen episodes, and then the next year we put out like thirty, and then so we are at a point where we're putting out a week uh, episode every week, and that's not enough, actually. I'm at a point where I need to be putting out like two episodes a week, maybe even more, just because we want to keep up. We want it to be a show where, you know, we're talking about the the basics. Right. But also at the same time, we want to be able to keep up with the news cycle. But from our perspective also. Um, so we want to be at the point where on a yearly basis, we're actually around like 100 to 150 episodes a year. So, you know, we have ramped that up. I think we're actually on pace to hit 100 episodes. Um, so we're not playing. You know, we're going after it. And it's really fun. And I think for the people who are listening right now, I think the biggest thing I always tell people, like if you are on the fence of starting a podcast right now, um, is always think about creating the show that you have wanted to hear. You always wanted to hear and go from there. And that's always been my my guiding light is what type of show would I want to, if I see it on my podcast uh, directory, which show would I really want to listen to? And I've gone through multiple iterations. I'm still iterating right now, but that's always been my guiding light. Yeah. I mean, that's genius because at the end of the day, if you, if you put out a product that you wouldn't even want to hear yourself, <laughs> I think that's it. I think it's just, it's just time to, you know, unplug the microphone. It's just time to put the phone or the headphones or whatever away and just, you know, just 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 hang, hang your hang your microphone up in the rafters, man. Right. Just, just, and but that goes with people who if you if you are inspired by someone else's podcast and then you try to copy their podcast, eventually you're going to be like, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to listen to this anymore. But if you do it on your own on, in your own way and you're proud of it, you'll be like, man, let me just listen to how fat I sound. Man. I know I I know I I know I put out some gems out there. You know, you may not want to listen to the whole thing. You may even hate your voice, but just you know that you created a show that you really like. And I've been there like I can't stand my voice even to this day. Right. But there are times when I'm like, man, I really my, Dr. Renee, she ain't got nothing for me, man. Like I I, <laughs> I came with the vengeance on this episode or this other guest. He wasn't ready, you know, and then there's times when I'm not too psyched about an episode and I'm like, man, I don't want to hear this. Let me, let me skip this. That's what I know, you know. Mm, yeah. I mean, the one, so so like one, one, one thought I often have is. It's kind of. In a sense, comparing this to like a sport, if you will, because. There, there's going to be another episode, right? And we have the opportunity to prepare and we can do we can do a scouting report before we get our guest or, you know, we can put our notes together or whatever we need to do to make sure that it's the best possible episode that we can produce or the best content that we can produce. And if we don't prepare, it's going to show. It's going, I don't care how advanced somebody is. Like there's some people that can just hop on, just do the interview and, you know, it'll be cool, but if they really sit and think about it, they're probably like, I could have did a little bit better. I could improve here. I could improve there. So it's just, you know, just taking the time to invest in what you want to get out. That's, that'd be what so, I just say. So, uh, Mr. Jonathan, mm -hmm. I agree with you 100%. I also will piggyback on it and let people know that it takes time. Like, you, it's not like, a, like inert time, though. Like it takes the time of doing it over and over and over and over again. So I tell people like podcasting, you could look at podcasting like the football, like the NFL football playoffs, or you could look at it like the NBA playoffs. And what I mean by that is within football, it's one and done, right? Like you have to be perfect on your, on the games and that's mm -hmm. it. If you get it wrong, you're going home. And then if you get it right, yeah. you move on. But it's not like that in NBA or even NHL, right? There's a seven game series. So you have, in order to get better, it's going to take time. You may be bad at game one, but you're good, you're good at game two, game three. You may have a misstep on game four. You're hitting again, game five, six, and seven. And in order to be a good interviewer, in order to be a good podcast host, you got to just keep doing it over and over and over again. So when I tell people, particularly people I coach, I'm like, listen, um, like you don't, like over the past like three months, you've only had like, three episodes out. What's going on? Oh, well, you know, I'm still editing this episode. And it's like, you don't, it doesn't work like that. Like you can't be perfect in your best episode. The episode that gives you the most value or gives your listeners the most value is the one that you just released. So if you haven't released an episode in, in, in three months and you're holding on to this perfect, this perfect podcast episode, why? Right. They're going to consume it and they're going to move on. 
So that's what I mean by like, you just got to keep putting out content and moving and moving and moving and moving and moving. That's why Dr. Barry, he's like really good. Like his podcast has improved so much because he's just been like, you know what? I'm going to double down on putting out more episodes. I don't have to be perfect. But at the same time, I'm just going to be putting out a system where each and every day I'm putting out better and better and better content and I'm interviewing better. So for the folks that are listening, man, this comes with literally doing this on a very consistent basis and realizing that, yeah, if I make a mistake, it's all good. I'm going to learn from it, but I'm going to move on. But trying to be perfect, man, like them for the birds, man. <laughs> I don't think you're going you're gonna to make it if you're trying to be perfect, man.